I'd like to introduce Pam Merkline, who is the Women Veterans Coordinator for the great state of Texas for the Texas Veterans Commission. Thank you. And you just told me a startling statistic that I really didn't believe. Yes, um, I think it was about six months ago. State of Texas has more women veterans now than California. Wow, that's pretty astonishing by like 106 or something like that. Something like that, okay, right. Well, very it's good. close. Well, the so. idea is, how does Texas outreach to women veterans? That is a problem or a challenge that um, I think every state has been trying to do. So what we're looking at is who do we need to outreach right now? And coming out of the military is a young, um, younger veterans, you know, 20 to 30 years old. Mm -hmm. And what are they into? Social media. Mm -hmm. So we have to start doing more social media. So now I have to learn all the social medias. You know, the Facebook, the LinkedIn, um, the Twitter, so I have to learn all that to get out to our female veterans, especially in the rural areas. Because if it's not easy for them to get to a clinic, they're not gonna make it, because they got other priorities. They got family, they've mm -hmm. got, whether they've got children or their elderly parents, or they've got a job to do, or they just don't have transportation. They're not going to make a priority to take care of themselves. So I have to go out there and reach out to everybody in Texas for that. And that really is goes back to many conversations I've had earlier today with other guests, is outreaching to the women veterans, but educating them. Definitely, this definitely. Is the key. What are your benefits? Learn about your benefits, and really, don't waste five, 10 years mm -hmm. after you get out of service wandering, wondering, what am I entitled to when social media, computers, and it's groups, the Women Veterans Commission of Texas is like, use the benefits that you're entitled. It's not a handout. Correct. And with the Texas Veterans Commission, we have several divisions within our agency. We have the claims division, which I used to be part of. I was doing claims for five years before I become the Women's Veteran Coordinator. So that's my expertise. And so that's, I go out and have you filed your claim? Have you done this? Have you done that? Let them know about their benefits. We also have employment uh, counselors at every workforce center. We have a veteran employment counselor. So they can go and learn about their, how to transfer their military skills into civilian life. Cause that's one of a huge obstacle that all the veterans, especially females have. We also have an education department who are experts on how to get your education benefits, how they apply to which college, which education benefits is better. Should I use the GI Bill? Should I use 9-11 Bill? Or should I go through voc rehab through the school, or uh, through the VA or not? Mm -hmm. And then we also have, it's fairly new, an entrepreneurship. Oh uh, yeah, let's portion. talk about that. Because portion. I know that there's a big push in our nation to really, if a woman veteran, or really any veteran, is interested in starting their own business. Correct. SBA loans, just, I mean, that's just a wonderful program. It's about a year old program, and um, the gentleman in charge of that is Duncan McGee, and he has taken it by the horns and has just made it amazing. And actually, he the legislation has granted him more funding for that, so he's bringing on more people to help him. And he has enabled a veteran to start a business with practically no income or no money to start it up, which is just amazing to me. Do they fund the startup? They don't fund it. He tell, he knows the resources out there. Um, you go to here and here, like um, a really good source out there is uh, People's Choice, which provides funding for veterans who are just starting out. So that's an excellent resource for someone who's starting out on their own and they teach them how to do everything. And so that's a, that's a really good program. We're pretty proud of that program through the Texas Veterans Commission. Very good. So um, is there a success rate on that that you've been able to track? Duncan has. There's several people he has. Um, I know of one person only because I went to a little mini conference and he brought that person in who was, he actually went over and got a franchise and took it over from another person. And it's like, the guy was like, now what do I do? And so he contacted Duncan and Duncan led him through the place and now he's 
he's growing it. He's thinking about opening another business. So yeah, he's got very a lot of success stories, and he's got to track it in order to go to the legislation to say I need more money and here's my success story. So that's how he's able to get more money through it. Well, very so. good. There's no reason for a veteran not to be able to start their own business with all the programs that are available through our nation. Definitely, and if especially because. Um, like San Antonio has one of the highest rates for small businesses, especially among women. And women make one of the best small businesses uh, available because we know how to do it correctly and the sources to go out there and everything. So if you don't know what you want to do and you're like, go talk to someone and say, how did you start that business? What do I need to do that business? And that's how you find your passion. Go what your passion is. If it's not out there, start a small business. That's what we're doing. We're, yeah. we're, we're taking this to the next level. Definitely. The HBTV to the next level, turning yes. into a business. Good. It's a transition. Okay. So, okay. very good. Best piece of advice for a woman veteran getting out of the military, making that transition to the civilian world. Don't be afraid to ask for your benefits. Um, you could be eligible for almost anything, even if you think you don't deserve it or you don't think you had. If you're a veteran, um, you deserve some type of benefits. Um, if you only, well, I was never in combat, so I don't think I'm a veteran. You're in the service, you were in there honorably, you are a veteran. No matter where you were at or where you did, you are a veteran. There it is. Pam, thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.